Hi, I'm Jenny. And I'm Dave, and this is Elementary. Hi, welcome to the Culinary Alphabet. And our letter for today is V, and the word we've chosen is a velouté. And a velouté is one of the five mother sauces, or one of the five grand sauces. And it's basically a stock, usually veal, chicken, or fish, and it's mixed with a roux. And it can be a sauce that stands alone, or it can be used in a more complex sauce, as a base for a more complex sauce, like a sauce salamand, a sauce a supreme, a sauce uh, Normandy. So that's our word for today, velouté, and uh, it's the base for more complex sauces or a sauce on its own. Welcome to savory and spicy translation part of our show. I want to talk to you about Roquefort cheese today. Roquefort is known as the king of cheeses. It's made from sheep's milk. And what happens is that they gather the sheep's milk and then it comes from the south of France, before I forget to tell you that, and it's divided into curds and whey. Just remember that old childhood rhyme about the curds and whey poem? Well, anyway, they take the curd away from the whey, but they add a little bit of whey back into the curd so it'll ferment. And once that's done, they get mold from the caves in France, and they add it to either the liquid or to the curds. And then they uh, add a little salt to it, and they store it for at least three months. And that's how we get Roquefort cheese, the king of cheeses. Hi, welcome to Elementaire, where we show you how to cook simple, fresh, seasonal food at home. On today's show, I'm gonna show you how to make a great homemade blue cheese bacon salad dressing and go with the nice iceberg wedges. And Dave's gonna show you how to make croutons from scratch. So I'm going to show you how to make some croutons today from scratch. And uh, not we're not going to make the bread from scratch, but um, we're going to show you how to make them real easy. What I like about croutons made this way is they just taste so much better than the dry, airy ones that you get in the stores. They're easy and who doesn't have old bread lying around? Usually I make a lot of uh, breadcrumbs with my old French bread, uh, but I had some today and I wanted to make some croutons that I thought would go nicely with Jenny's salad. So I took uh, an old Italian bread, cut them into pretty big cubes, as you can see. I like my croutons sizable. And um, Jenny told me she was making bacon this morning, and I said, Jenny, don't throw away the bacon grease. And uh, But she was one step ahead of me. She had already saved it. I thought it would go really nice with the blue cheese dressing. So. Um, what I have in here is a little bit of butter mixed with uh, the, the bacon, uh, bacon fat from Jenny making bacon. And then I put some minced garlic in, just heated it up real gently. I'm trying to infuse the flavor of the butter and the uh, bacon fat with the garlic. So this is still in a pourable form. As you can see, I have my croutons here. Again, like almost everything we cook, I know Jenny says this and so do I, you can put whatever flavorings you like on here. We're, we're doing flavorings to go with this salad, but feel free to use different herbs, different breads, um, butter, olive oil. It all works good when you're making croutons. So I'm gonna, to my bowl of croutons, I'm gonna put in, I'm gonna pour the butter, the garlicky butter, bacon fat. It smells so good. I could eat them just like a dipping sauce. I'm going to stir that up. What you want to do is get the, you want to get them partially coated or as coated as you can with the oils. That way it gets the flavor on all of them. So we toss them real nicely. Once we get them tossed pretty good, we're going to put them onto a baking pan with lined with parchment that makes cleanup really easy. Spread them out just a little but not too much. Ones on the edges are going to cook a little bit faster anyway so I don't like to have them too far away. 
but and then I have my final seasonings once they're already on that baking sheet. So on these, I'm gonna put just a little bit of Parmesan. And because I'm putting Parmesan, I'm not gonna add salt and pepper. There'll be plenty of flavor as they are. You don't need to go overboard with the Parmesan. However, if you like them real Parmesan-y, if that's a word, put more. And then I've, I've chopped up some uh, parsley. I think parsley would go nicely with these. But again, basil is delicious. If you're doing some for uh, Thanksgiving or that time of year, you can chop up some sage. Um, I put a little rosemary in this too. So just a tiny bit, we don't want to overpower it, but we just want to have them slightly scented. And they are basically ready. Don't need to have it on too heavily. I've got an oven already warmed up, 350 degrees. I'm gonna put this into the oven. I'm gonna watch them real carefully because they can burn really quick. So keep your eye on them. Um, sometimes you might even have to stir them a little bit if you see the edges are cooking too fast. And I'd say 15 minutes, but this is something you really wanna watch. So and then cook them to the degree of doneness that you like or the golden brown. Some people like them real hard and crunchy. Some people like them a little bit bready. So anyway, stale bread, oil or flavoring of some sort, herbs into the oven to 350, and when they come out, you'll have some delicious croutons. Okay, how many times have you gone to the market to buy salad dressing, and you pick up a bottle and you say, oh, this sounds good, and then you turn around and read the label, and there's words in there you can't even pronounce, let alone spell, you have no idea what they mean? Making your salad dressing from scratch is the ultimate way to do it, and it's not that hard, it's not that complicated. So as I said earlier, I'm gonna show you how to make a great creamy dressing to go on the iceberg lettuces. Now, I'm gonna show you first how to make your homemade mayonnaise. It is so simple, it is so easy, it takes three minutes. And I know everybody has three minutes in the kitchen. So you're gonna start with a couple of eggs. You want them to be room temperature. And then you're going to add the juice of a lemon. Normally, a lemon will give you a couple tablespoons of juice, um, depending on the size of the lemon. So you don't want to make it real sour, but you do want to give it a nice flavor, and this will flavor it very, very nicely. Um, you can also add herbs. Sometimes I'll add parsley or dill or basil if I want to make a basil mayonnaise. And then you want to add just a touch of Dijon mustard to give it a little kick. And then you're going to put in some salt and a few rounds of cracked pepper. And then we're going to process this because mayonnaise will be the base, one of the bases for our dressing. Now, as this is processing through the feed tube that has a hole at the bottom, you're going to add your oil, and your oil is going to thicken it. And it'll drip through little by little. This is the part that takes a couple of minutes, as you can see. Okay, as you can see, the dressing, or the dressing, the mayonnaise is now nice and thick. All the oil is dripped through. I'm just going to move this here. And we have wonderful, wonderful mayonnaise. Look at how beautiful that is. Look at that, it's so thick and rich. Now you're going to take equal parts of sour cream and mayonnaise. So I have a cup of sour cream. I'm going to add a cup of this wonderful mayonnaise. I like to use all olive oil in my uh, mayonnaise, but you can break it up. You can use half olive oil and half something else. Again, everything depends on your taste. And then we're just going to fold this into the sour cream. That beautiful, beautiful yellow color. Mm, mm, mm. And we're just going to fold this over and we're going to mix it all together until it's been incorporated and it'll get a little little more pale now. 
uh, by the time that you just fold over your mayonnaise into your sour cream, it's going to change color, but it'll still be a very light pale yellow. And then to this, you're going to add some bacon. I cooked up a couple of pieces of bacon this morning, and um, I added that. And then a little bit of blue cheese, depending on the flavor, how much that you like. And then we're just going to stir this like this. And at this point, you can add some fresh herbs if you want. Um, I like to add a little bit of dill, to be honest, to this, because it really complements the bacon and the um, blue cheese. And that's it. And then you just serve it on your, le on your lettuce wedges and great salad dressing. So, we have made ourselves a very simple salad and croutons, and we both um, sampled it a little bit before the final here, so we both can't wait to eat it, because that dressing Jenny made is out of this world, so you've got to try it. Um, and she did a beautiful presentation with the wedges, and a nice, delicious dressing, and there's the rustic-y, big croutons, and um, we hope you like what we made. I don't care if you live to be 100 years old, you will never, ever, no matter where you go to any market, find croutons that are as tasty as Dave's. These are out of this world. I like not having the salt, the Parmesan cheese, it was perfect. Some of them are just as soft. You know what, it almost tastes like a garlic bread. It does. Oh, it's so good. Well, we'll see you on uh, the next uh, Elementaire. Happy eating.